my mom is literally the hardest ever. Like, you cannot do anything. I literally got like one side of my weights rack at the gym because I tried to work out and they're calling me over the intercom to come get him literally after five minutes because he don't want to be with anybody but me because I'm the only person with him. But you literally just can't do anything. Wait, no wait, boy. She's about to get her Miss Independent Single Mother wake up call. But I do have other videos to react to, especially with this guy giving his woman the drizzle. Where do you think you're going dressed like this? What you mean? Man, I'm, right, close that door. I'm serious. Close the door. Come on, you tripping right now. Like, yes. You can find that video at the eight minute mark. And before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button. Definitely share the video. And if this is your first time watching, hit that subscribe button. Let's get to it. I'm literally so exhausted from work, like 90% of the time. So I don't ever get to do like a good, like real workout. And I got up trying to do a workout this evening and he don't even want to go to the kids club. This is like the third time I've tried to take him. He does not like to be with strangers. So it just makes it hard because I can't do anything. Anything. The only time I have help is when I'm working. I can't ever do anything for myself. And the other parent just gets to do whatever they want. Literally whatever. You can go hang out with your friends. You can work out. You can complain about how tired you are. Miss Independent, I don't need a man. I can do it by myself. Always catches up to a woman and it catches up a little too late. As the child gets older, less people want to be around your child. Now your child becomes a burden. It's all cute when they're babies, but as they start to grow up, that's the part that women don't think about before they start having children. Now, accidents do happen, but we do live in a time period in an era where women are proud to be single mothers and they're thinking about being a single mom before they even sleep with the man. Really, like, look at my life. Like, look what I have to do every single day. I hate even complaining about this because my mom helps me a lot and i do have i have a nanny for my son twice a week but that's while i'm working as an entrepreneur i like my brain is in work mode 24 7 and i only have physical help while i'm working and so it just makes it difficult whenever i need to do things for myself like my nails are down to the nubs my toes are a whole different story because it's like when, like when do i have the time where's the time to go and do that like i don't have anybody to keep him for me to go sit and get my nails done for an hour i join a gym with child care and he doesn't want to go to the child care because he doesn't like strangers this is why it's very important to establish a relationship with a man a man does not mind working a man does not mind putting in the hours as long as he can come home to peace but you think a man going to work and providing for you is some type of slavery. So you take on this role as a single mother. I don't know how you became one, but judging by how active you are now working, you were inside of a Miss Independent mind frame. If not, you would be trying to work it out with the baby daddy and he'll be helping not the mother. I'm just basing it off of my experiences. And then you got to deal with the other party complaining that you're not being nice to them. That's literally my life. I needed to let that cry out. It's, it's been a little minute since I've cried. I feel like I've just been so numb to all emotion that I just haven't cried. Um, so that did make me feel a little bit better, but it's, it's been rough recently and he does not want anybody but me. I want all the future stepdads out here to pay attention. This is what single mothers are going through. They're already traumatized just by raising the child by their own, but she's also showing you this child does not want to be around nobody. Nobody wants to be around my kid. My kid don't want to be around nobody. So it's left with just me and them. So there's no way for you to come in and actually be a stepdad because the child already has all the power over the mom. That's what you need to pay attention to. She's a pretty girl, which means a lot of guys are going to be attracted to her. But where she's going to lose that is her child is too bonded with her to the point no one else can deal with it. So when you try to come into the relationship, she's going to take all that stress and put it out on you and tell you you need to make so much money so you can take care of the household so she can sit at home and take care of her son. She's showing you what happens behind the scenes when you meet him. Is 17 months old. And this has by far been the hardest stage of all of it. Sweetest, but definitely, definitely the hardest. And I'm acquiring a lot of mental strength throughout this. But sometimes you just, just have a little breakdown. All the time they're going to be having these mental breakdowns because it's not really designed for a woman to take on this amount of stress 
by herself. And this is what a lot of you women need to pay attention to. If you're not prepared to go through these little mood swings she's going through, don't get involved. But she also ended her little rant with a smile on her face, which let you know she's moody, she tolerates it, and it's probably part of her lifestyle. To all my black kings out there, I just had to make an appreciation post for you guys. I truly appreciate you. I value you. I respect you. And honestly, I just feel like y'all don't get enough credit. And to all my black women, I love y'all. Y'all my girlies. But this post is specifically for my black men only. Because 99% of the time, they go through so much, y'all, behind closed doors. And I feel like some of us fail to realize that. Shout out to the men who gets up each and every single day to make it happen for their children, for their wives. Like, y'all make such great fathers, spouses. What do you guys think? Do you accept her apology? It may be a little bit too late to some of these women because a lot of these guys have accepted the fact that they are going to be by themselves. They found ways to be happy being by themselves, whether it's video games, whether it's building stuff. The law of life has changed and now the tables are starting to turn. The only thing is, a lot of you women, you done went for the streets and now you're trying to come back. Guys can recognize an alley cat. Yeah, for a long time, I did not like dark skinned women. And let me tell you why. Now, I know you're like, that sounds crazy as why would you get on this app and say that? But it's true. I was dating this Jamaican man and he would cheat on me all the time, but it would be like with like the same three or four dark skinned girls and y'all see what color I am. So in my head, with him manipulating me, in my head, I'm thinking that the dark skinned girls is the problem. I'm not realizing that he's the problem. So that's why I didn't like the dark skinned women. Like it was so bad to the point, like if you was a dark skinned art artist, female artist, I would not listen to the music. If I seen a dark skinned woman come up on the TV, I would get irritated and a little disgusted. And I didn't, I wouldn't like, like you know what I'm saying? I would be out in public and I'll just be like, like, you know what I'm saying? Like disgusted because he made me feel inside that like dark skinned women were superior to me and this and that and that and this. One thing that you would notice about the black community, especially in the poverty part, is that the light skinned women never make it out. They're the first ones to have kids and they're the ones that have the most kids over and over and over and over again because they're always competing with the dark skinned girls. This is why women in the hood do not like each other and it's easier for them to fight because there's a there's already profiling within the community saying white people are doing it it's not even as bad as the black on black towards each other darker shade foundation all types of stuff until i realized like the dark skin woman is not the problem he's the problem and he that's what was going on i mean and i would text him like why are you doing this what is this for blah blah he'll be like ask her y'all that was like a dark spot in my life and i just feel like i needed to admit that like i love dark skin women i always have it's just that the problem forced me to think that the problem was something else and it was not ever dark skin women the problem was always him and i gotta take accountability these women be living their life like they're trying to write a book after all the stories are yeah he cheated on me a whole bunch of times it's like you put up with so much from him and then when you, all the guys after him you just completely dog them out or make them work too hard to get you and you be in a lose lose situation where do you think you're going dressed like this what you mean Man, I'm I, close that door. I'm serious. Close the door. Come on, you tripping right now? Like, yes, you're tripping. Why would you even want to go outside dressed like that? You're married. Justin, Look what you got on. That's not appropriate. What are you talking about? You're my wife. Like, who are you trying to impress? Are you serious? If you met her like that nine times out of ten, that's the character that she chose to be. But you also got to be the man doing what he's doing and checking it before she gets in too deep. Now, if he's been allowing this for six months to a year, she going to fight her way. It's going to be a big argument. She's not going to change. If this is the first time she's doing it, then he got a chance to change in her for good. There's nothing wrong with what I have on. It's, it's a lot wrong with what you got no, on. Like, listen here. Like listen, I don't care about you going out, but you need to cover up. Like, you're my wife. You should not be going outside dressed like this. Like, come on. We out of town. I know you want to kick it with you. What you mean? I'm not insecure. What are you talking about? You go outside with a dang beater on all the time. A beater. That's her argument. You walking outside dressed half naked is different than a man. Why? Because every man is always thinking about clapping cheeks. And the more you look like you're available, the more guys are going to have nasty thoughts about you. What is it that a man doesn't want? He doesn't want something that he cares about being looked at as just an object. That's what women do not understand. Most guys that walk around with a wife beater on are not looked at as an object. 
Most women, whether you got money or not, a body or nothing, you come outside half naked, you're going to be an object to most men. You're compared to these little booty hey, shorts, are you serious? What are you talking about? Like, why are you going outside dressed like this, though? That's embarrassing. Hey, you're my wife. Like, it's just a slumber party, all girls. No, come on, man. I'm not trying to hear that. Come on, you could have picked mean? something else. Like, that's embarrassing. No, you don't trust me now. All girls now. You know what's going to You don't trust me now. This is crazy. No, that's come on. Maybe, we should Maybe he should just cut you off and not sit there and argue with you. That's what men are going to have to learn to do. Just cut her off. Stop the arguing. You get a lot further with women with silence. How much younger is Mr. Dickerson than you? Mm -hmm. 20 years. 20 years? 20 years. It's like 40. What? She hates to admit it, but in reality, she's 64 coming on this year, and I still happen to remember her birthday, even though she doesn't know mine, nor so does she care. she's 64, and how old are you? 21. 21. That's grandchild range right there. Great grandchild. Great grandchild. Great. That's four decades. And she getting her cheeks clapped by that young man. At that age, she don't even care. So this ain't even an argument that anyone's going to win. She's just happy to be getting touched. Don't no woman in this world come to a mother, especially, especially black folk. Don't no black person come to the next black person Especially if they doing good or looking good and say, man, you know what? He got a drinking problem. He don't wear cologne. He, but he's handsome in the face. But he don't have a car. He still live with his sister. All of this shit is wrong with him. But I just want to kill him so bad. I'm going to change his life and I'm going to take him to Jamaica. Black men do that to women every day. She got three kids. She's fat, but she don't got no car. She live with her cousin, but her cousin going to watch the kids this weekend. And she said she's going to go to Jamaica with me. That's not the truth. You're right. I hear that. So therefore, men need to step up as men other requirements of what they allow and what they accept and what is okay he does have a point a lot of guys are trying to turn these hoes into housewives these alley cats into house pets and it's just not working you're trying to change a bad woman and all this come from the fact that when you grow up in a single mother home you see your mother struggling so a lot of these girls that you want to save you see them struggling and it's just a natural reaction